In this post, I want to talk a little bit about the usability around the way we group information. So what you see is typically in front of you is a very typical situation that we see a lot when we see users that use some of the default functionality out of SharePoint. And so let's say like right here we have a project task list and here we have statuses that we have that go along with it. You can see we have some that have been completed, some that are in progress, some that are waiting for someone else. And so typically the reason we use this group view is we think that this is a very nice view for users to look at and to be able to filter through. But the reality is from a usability standpoint, one, you'd actually be surprised that there's still a fair number of users that are very uncomfortable with the whole plus minus situation. But overall, visually, it tends to be quite confusing and so if you weren't really sure what you were looking at in that and this was a lot of different task statuses say there were 20 or 30 or something like that you could end up doing a lot of clicking and everything looks very much the same so one of the things that we like to do is instead of doing this whole group view which can have its uses for power users when you look at it from a simple user side of looking at how instead of grouping it together in the way that SharePoint allows you just to do the plus minus groups instead what I like to do is I like to create a lot of different views on a page and actually on those views then actually filter those to the different looks so now you can see we just have this much cleaner view a much cleaner visual picture of what I'm looking at from our completed project task to in progress project task to waiting on someone else project task all these different things and you can just see visually from a visual standpoint and just managing the information I kinda know where I'm at I know what I need to do and it's just a lot clearer on the user as to what they're looking for